Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome. Today, I want to talk about manifesting your twin flame, your other self. And it's a topic that came up at the end of our workshop, my detox workshop, which ended today. And I thought I would do a video on it because it is an interesting topic and I do want to talk about it in reference to twin flames. So in this connection with your other self, your divine masculine, you are one with your divine masculine. You are not separate. So in reference to a manifestation, um, in manifesting anything in your life, you are seeing whatever it is that you want as separate, whether it be you manifest a new job, or you manifest the perfect home, or you manifest um, going to a different city or country, or anything materialistic, or even a soulmate you can manifest. But when it comes to your divine masculine, you cannot have a vision board and visualize your divine masculine to come back in because you cannot manifest your divine masculine back in because they are already you so how do you manifest something that is already within you right and that is what's really important to remember is that you are one and anytime that you are seeing your divine masculine as separate, as a separate person, you'll keep looping in this journey. And what I mean by looping is just being stuck and constantly thinking about when you're gonna be with your person. Are you ever going to be in 3D union? Is it ever going to happen in this lifetime? And if you are still thinking that, then you are seeing them as separate. And the paradox is, yes, they are separate <laughs> as a body, right? You know there's a body there. And that, that's what makes it really difficult in this journey because your mind wants to believe that your divine masculine is separate from you. And your ego will always get in the way, which is why it's so important to begin transcending the mind and to know that you are not your mind you are a soul you are soul and being soul you are one you are one with everything your energy your consciousness and seeing them as separate is where the pain comes in and you can magnetize your person back in as you embody the energy of soul and be in a high vibration. So if we go back to manifesting, manifestation means, as many people know on this journey, that you already believe that you have what it is that you're seeking and you raise your frequency knowing that you already have it. So although your twin flame is you you cannot manifest your twin flame because it just doesn't work in this connection so it's so important to really believe really truly feel your soul and it's all about coming back to soul and coming back to your organic state of being which is soul soul is your organic state of being and it is only because you've been conditioned to believe that everything is separate and anything that we need we're always searching for outside of ourselves and that is why your divine masculine came in he or she came in to awaken you to let you know that there is nothing that you need outside of yourself. And yes, it's a rude awakening. It's a forced awakening. You're catapulted 
into this very tough awakening because it is letting you know that you are love and love conquers everything love always wins always and love is a higher vibration so when you embody the frequency of love and joy and you know that everything that you need comes from within because you create your outer state of being then it becomes easier to manifest but cannot manifest your divine masculine because they are already you and I know that can sound contradictory but in this connection you are one and it's almost like manifesting a part of your body you can't manifest a part of your body because your it is a part of your body is already within you so really coming to the inner standing rather than understanding that your divine masculine has always been within you will always be within you so there's nothing to search for there's nothing to search for this journey is about being being in soul coming home to soul loving yourself to the fullest and the universe will take care of the rest your soul will attract back in which is your divine masculine in perfect timing and that comes back to surrendering and not having any preference whether they do come back in or not come back in because if you have a preference then you're still attached and this journey doesn't allow for any attachments and that's also a big part of letting go and kind of like letting go of the butterfly once you caught the butterfly it's really fun to catch a butterfly but you let it go and if it's meant to come back it will come back and that's with anything if it's meant to be it's it's yours and that's where that trust and surrender comes in and I did a video and I posted it earlier this morning or yesterday of letting go letting go of attachments because there's nothing that you need or want in this planet that doesn't come from within and the universe will provide everything that you need so yeah so manifestation doesn't quite work with your um, divine masculine you can magnetize them back in absolutely but you cannot manifest by a vision board or just thinking about uh, you and your person being together uh, in the law of attraction doesn't quite work with uh, your divine masculine so yeah I hope this helps uh, if you need more help then feel free to reach out I do have a website in the hidden kingdom.com Sending you all so much love.